Hey y'all, Clem Hawkins here, checking in with you. Uh, let's see, it's New Year's Eve, so almost Happy New Year to everybody. And let's see, woke up this morning with the heater not working for some fucking reason, so that's on our daily challenge list. Got a lot of writing and stuff figured out. We've got until about 4 o'clock today to do our thing. And... At 6, I bartending until midnight 30 down in Littleton or someplace, Aspen Leaf Road. And uh, so that'd be finishing the year off, making maybe 100 bucks or two. And then tomorrow is IATSE work, so I got to get to storage and get all my tools and whatnot. Uh, get the Jeep cleaned up, dried out. Because I've spilt Elvis's water, I think, more than once. Driving silly. And uh, what else? I'm not sure. I think at this point, that's about it. Uh, got to see, finally got to see the UFC fight. Bummed that uh, Holly lost, but... Uh, It's not often I go out and get out and do stuff. Not that I socialized much, but I did get out and I did something. And today it's productivity, productivity, and those, uh, something to the grindstone. Uh, Sorry, I stopped to think and forgot to start again. So, uh, yeah, 2017 wasn't so bad. I like that I'll be able to finish the year and begin the year working. That's a welcome to change. And uh, hopefully that will allow us to continue to step things up with this deal. I started this kind of in a I told you so. I'll show you. Yeah, this is how you can do it. This is what it's, what it what it takes. Um, as far as doing a podcast and publishing works, writings, uh, thoughts, feelings, what have you, documenting the situation, but also doing it in a way that's uh, humble in that it's a work in progress and I have that awareness that it ain't going to be perfect, ain't never going to be perfect, so uh, all I can do is start somewhere and do something about it and acknowledging that in the future people are going to see these things possibly as the beginning of a new type of uh, publication and communication when I think back in the day to be a writer to be a person whose opinion mattered to the masses or what have you you had to kiss a bunch of ass I suppose somebody had to pay for the paper and the ink, and the print setting, and the book making, and the book, per, you know, distribution and sales. And once that book was created, it was out there for, I mean, it was that person's physical book. And although the system and infrastructure could most definitely collapse to a point where possibly people wouldn't have access to these things, um they're miniature little uh, bubbles of thought that we can put together and uh, share with others in a way that makes things better for everybody. For some reason getting distracted by Elvis and his pushing my coffee cup. So I'm not sure why. I'm going to give it one more turn just in case. Sometimes there's an issue with this. Uh... No, 
No, that's not the key. I'm not sure why the heater quit working. I might have fallen asleep with it on and it got too hot. Um, so I got fuses to check. I got Jeep to clean out, riders, right, writings to complete. Storage to check, tools to get. I almost think I want to go there, take everything out of the Jeep, go find a vacuum, and uh, it's kind of I was thinking earlier that <laughs> living with Elvis in this car is like I don't I get a reupholstery every time he sheds. It's like new upholstery. It's Elvis fur. It's Elvis fur. So I have put together, kind of, I've worked, I'm working on, and if there's people out there that are, are actually listening to this thing, and it's still reasonably near the time that I put it out there, I'm trying to get us a collection of ideas for podcasts. Now, I could definitely talk for hours on end concerning cannabis and medical marijuana and edibles and the like. Can't say that I have much to add to the knowledge that's there, but I have compiled it in my own head. I've also started a WordPress thing so I can put all the writings, compile all of those into one centralized location. Uh, that isn't my own hard drive, something that people have access to. And I'm not sure if there's a batch process, an easy way I can do that, or if it's going to be a lot of cut and paste. Uh, immediate thought is if I get a new laptop, I'll use the laptop with my all my files from all my drives, put that on the new laptop, and then clear the old drive and start from scratch with that one. I like the idea of being able to do these things and not charge money. I like the idea of shareware back in the day when people would write programs and if they were good, people would send them a couple of bucks or something like that. So I have got a PayPal account that I set up for that, but I'm not, I haven't done much in the way of trying to come up with a budget or a goal or a Kickstarter or, you know, one of those fun programs. I figure if I ever find anybody else that's interested in helping with these, um, big projects, everybody's got a job, and I can't do every fucking thing. Uh, if I if I don't have to, I, I'd prefer not to. There's lots of things that one person can do. And I haven't brought those things up. I still got to get my music and stuff compiled and together and recorded and out there. And it feels good to start a new year with 8 to 20 some odd different projects. 8 to 25 some odd different projects. And with a super consistent work process, I'll be so busy I won't be able to drink my money. Or eat my money. I probably spend more on food than I do on alcohol. But they're about the same amount. At least currently, I'm actually buying food instead of just alcohol. Which in the past has been, has been a problem. Or a, a problem situation. And uh, I've also kind of had the thought, trying to get it out there, maybe so I can remember it or hear it later, that... Uh, The awareness of the sacrifice required to be a comedian 
in that if you're a comic that's George Carlin smart and making fun of other people, he always includes himself, but it's not generally just about himself, whereas other comics are just self-deprecating and they make fun of themselves. And I wrote this little bit once that uh, when I make fun of you guys, I'm usually, or when, I, when I'm making fun of stupid people, I'm usually by myself. And I have only my company. When I make fun of myself, I have lots of other company. So as long as I can figure out how to spin it in a way that is socially self-deprecating, but not personally so, is probably a good place to start. Also, having that thought in mind, the idea that possibly some of these different books will be different bits or routines, and then when I go, if I get to go do these tour, these uh, comic deals, I'll have merchandise, I'll have books, I'll have uh, video books, uh, whatever, and... Uh, I like that with the internet, as long as somebody has internet access, it's not something that was really brought up in the uh, William Gibson books so much. I mean, The Matrix was kind of based on that, that uh, Neo had two different lives his regular day life, and then his internet life. And a lot of people, like say people that play games, those uh, online multiplayer games, they have a identity in cyberspace out there in the world or something, you know what I'm saying? So who they are in physical reality isn't as much of an issue. And... I'm still trying to figure out what's going to be the best way of doing that. And I also feel like that's already been decided. I'm just trying to remember it or be open to it or, you know, uh, direct it in a positive way. Um, all we can do is what we do, what we can do. And no sense in sitting around pointing fingers at other people saying they ain't doing it right. Uh, it makes a whole lot more sense to do something and... When I was a kid, there was something about the Pump Up the Volume movie. Uh, now we have a broadcast ability video, straight talk time, that's nearly instantaneous. If I had data, it could be live streaming instantaneous. Instead, we are bebopping around on this thing, recording these podcasts, hopping into Starbucks, uploading it, drinking coffee and writing while it uploads. And then once it's finished uploading, we get to start our day. And then we can record some more. Hopefully get them all together today and or tonight. Uh, maybe do an audio podcast tonight. Uh, catch Capture some of the comedic bartending. Uh, and comedic typing. And figuring out a few other different things like the screen capture. And the ability to write online type and record it as it as I'm writing it possibly have that uh, timed with music um, all possibilities so that mind I'm at 14 minutes in counting uh, we'll do this a 15 minute podcast maybe I could snip out the little middle parts and we'll make it 13 minutes I might try that but I'm gonna take it to 15 minutes just in case Right, Elvis? You guys want to say hi to Elvis? Say hi, pretty doggy. Hey, pretty buddy. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh. Scratch at the dog. All right, yeah, so Clem and Elvis, 14. Uh, signing off until next time or next year, I guess. Tomorrow might be a good day to uh, upload last year's highlights. Love you.